Hi guys, James Wilson here from Ray White Real Estate, here today at Flame Tree Burger Bar on Forest Road in Furniture Gully, just giving you a wrap up of the second quarter for the real estate market for 2018. They've got a really cool theme going on here. The owners have actually given us a kind offer, which is that in the month of July, if you mention Ray White when ordering one of their burgers, they've offered to give you some complimentary fries for free. So let's have a look at what the market's been doing for the second quarter of this year. We've noticed it continue the trend which we saw at the start of the year, which is basically that the market's starting to level off a little bit, which is good news. Uh, we've seen buyers and sellers notice that it's a fair market now, and it's basically just returning back to what's a normal real estate market. With that being said, there have been some properties which have been quite popular, which meant they've had a lot of attention and a competitive environment has been created. One example of that was uh, 6A Normleaf Grove in Baronia. Uh, we had to go to auction. Basic details are that it was a rear unit of two, three bed, two bath unit on about 500 square metres. Uh, went to auction and sold for 870, which is an outstanding result. Um, good part about our one network, our group of offices, is that we do work together. Uh, so we took that underbidder from that property to 7A Maryborough Road in Bronia and sold that the same day for $840,000. Another one I had personally was 133B Pembroke Road in Moorabark. A brand new home, three bedroom, two bathroom, single storey. It was on about 430 square metres with its own street frontage. Perfectly suited to downsizers. Uh, we did have some spirited bidding at the auction, ended up passing it at 821. We then negotiated after the auction and sold it uh, for $850,000, which is another outstanding result for that style of home. To finish off guys, uh, my advice, if you're planning on selling your home later this year or looking at spring, my advice is to try and have your home ready in August. Uh, a lot of people when they're trying to get their home ready for, for sale, it can blow out a little bit and take a bit longer than uh, what you expect. I know that, that happened to me personally um, when I was preparing my home for sale. Uh, my advice also is try not to overcapitalise. If you do need some advice on what work to do, which would be beneficial, more than happy to give you a hand. Well, that's it guys. Thanks for watching my quarterly wrap up video. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to give me a call.